So I'm trying to understand. Over than competitive games, what does it matter if a game can run at 300 FPS? If your refresh rate is 240, it just cannot say it can run that fast. Okay, that's a good question. That's a really good question. So why more FPS? Now this is not looking good. Wait, wait. Why? Why is this obsession of FPS? Like, like why? Like, who cares about this? Like, are you? Like, do you have a problem, Air Max? Do you have a problem? Like, do you have a problem? Why? Why does it care? So let's go back to Black Myth Wukong. So Black Myth Wukong right now with, I would say, like a pretty high-end material. Like the only thing that could really beat my hardware is like uh, 50, 70, 800 X3D or a 90, 90, 50X, right? So there is two CPU and on Intel, you will have like the 1490 series. Maybe, I'm not even sure, but let's say they do. Okay, they do. So we have like three CPUs that could beat my hardware. So I'm, I'm still on a high hand hardware, okay? If you look at the FPS, right, you have 154 FPS average and you have the low, the 5% the, 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 the that's at 138 FPS. What is the best experience? What is the best experience? Like, how can you have the best, how can you have the best experience? On, on your PC, like wh wh what does it mean? It means that your monitor here, refresh rate, it should be fulfilled 100% of the time. That's the, first, that's the first one. So if I'm running a 165 Hertz here, right, locked, I'm, I'm already behind here in terms of FPS. If you are 144 Hertz, you're already behind even for that because you have some dip, which is gonna be lower. So here it's no, here it's no, with my hardware. Second, so this is the first thing, right? So if you, if you wanna have a good, F, like a really nice experience, like the best experience would be, I have a 270 Hertz monitor, okay? If I want it to be smooth as butter most of the time, I want my mean FPS, right? Like those one, like 1%, to be superior at 270, like all the time. Like this will be the best experience. So not even competitive, like competitive. So that's what, the, the second one is like input lag. Okay. Input lag and like response. This is for competitive. But even without talking about that, let's let's not talk about that because this is another like stuff. Like it, it, Black Me Wolf Kong is not competitive. If you want to have the smoothest experience, you need your minimum not to reach under the refresh rate because then you have all those worst stuff happening on your screen. So now let's, let's reword that. This is my settings right now on Windows. I got 154 FPS. Now I switch to Linux and I go from 154 to, uh, where are you? Where are we, Papa? I go from 154, but here it's, here it's too low, but I lose 20%. So 20%. Because it's not the same settings, but I go at, at 20, I lose 20%. It will be 10% uh, is 16, like 15 FPS. So I will be at 120 FPS. So now, and if I go to the low two, right, I'm going to be at 90 there. 90 FPS for the lows. Now it means that if I want to enjoy, I need to have a 60 Hertz screen to be correct. So, but what about VRR? VR multi screen, multi screen does not exist with Nvidia. So, so, so you have to think this is right now. So, this is what you are running with my hardware, which most people have when you average out the entire gaming market 60 Hertz. Okay. So, does, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reward it this way. Does everybody has a 1490 and a 5950X? <laughs> If you take those, if you take those FPS and you apply it to, let's say, a 3060, how much FPS the dude is going to have? What do you think? You think he's going to run that? You, you really think he's going to get 100? Like, you, you really think he's going to get those FPS, bro? But you are isolating the question to one game example. This is what you don't get. Yeah, I agree. I do it on one example. But like, this, this is the whole point. The idea is that the FPS doesn't count. It's, it's just not true. You, you know what I mean? FPS is important. 
FPS is what make the experience good or bad. And what I'm comparing to, and, and this is, I think, where we have a disconnection here. My point is to compare Windows versus Linux. That's, that's what I'm talking about. This is, this is the point. How much, how much FPS do you need personally? It's, it's another question. You know, people with like 60 FPS, they're happy. And I'm not judging anyone. Okay, so 30, 60, does 50 FPS in Windows. So 51 FPS, you, you can't be in, in, in 60 hours anymore. So what I mean, like, you already have a bad experience, but if you switch to Linux, so with the 30, 60, just, just to be clear, with the 30, 60, you're going to get 51 on Windows, which means if, if it follows, it's going to be 20% less. It's going to be 10 FPS less. It's going to be 41 on Linux. It just become unplayable. Right? You were borderline able to play on Windows and now you are like totally not working. Right? So, so this is the whole point. It's like you, you have a hardware. When I compare that, like you have a hardware which say you could get this amount of FPS. Are you going to get it or not? If you switch operating system, that's, that's my whole, that's my whole debate here. Right? After, do you need it or not? Like it, it's, it's personal, right? Like I'm not, I'm not judging you. And I hope you're not judging me. Like saying like, oh, he's insane. You need 500 FPS. Bro. Me, the way I see it is like I have a 4090. I have a 270 Hertz screen. At what level do, does my experience get hurt? I'm telling you, under 120 FPS, for me, it sucks. Because if I pay a 4090 and a 270 Hertz screen, I want to have at least 120 FPS. If I don't reach that, I define as my experience is not good. Simple as that. I'm, I'm not reaching for 270. I'm just like 120. On Linux, my experience is meh. That's all. That's simple as that. Now, if you have a 3060 and you say my experience is 60 FPS, well, you won't have it on Linux as it is right now with those, those settings. It's, it's just what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Because sometimes like, you, you, you start from the statement that I want everybody, like, like everybody should get 500 FPS. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not judging. I see a lot of people obsessed with which distro is better when they can only run at 60 years. Oh yeah, this is another. So this, this is another debate. Just. Like that's an over debate because it's going to be all around like, like with, with your own hardware, if you know, like you go, you go from distro B or distro C and you don't see any difference. There is no point of moving from one to B. Me, my channel is really to show at, at the extreme where you are at. Cause my, my hardware is kind of like on the extreme end of the spectrum. Right. And it, it's, it's really nice to see because. By, by by me sharing my results with you guys, you could have some type of projection of ID how we could run with your machine. Th that's the point of my channel. We need to talk to AMD sending you the 9800X3D when it comes out. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Like it, this is part of this, uh, uh, you know, new like approach I'm trying to do with the uh, with the stream, guys. I, I really want to have exchange with you. And you know, guys, you might change my mind, right? Because I have my idea about, you know, some stuff. I have some conviction, I would say, like I have some ideas, but I'm, I'm pretty flexible when it comes to discussion. If you come from an argument and the argument is good toward what I believe, I would say, yes, you're right. You know, I would be the first to say it.